Hello students, uh, in this session let us understand what is supply chain management. Supply chain management can be defined as the management of flow of products and services which begins from the origin of uh, products and uh, ends at product consumption. It also comprises movement and storage of uh, raw materials that are involved in work in progress, inventory and fully furnished goods. The main objective of supply chain management is to monitor and relate production, distribution and shipment of products and services. This can be done by companies with very good and tight hold over internal inventories, production distribution and uh, internal productions and sales. So in this figure we can see how there is a flow of goods, service and information from the producer to the customer. This picture shows the movement of product from the producer to the manufacturer who forwards it to the distributor for shipment and the distributor in turn ships it to the wholesaler or retailer who further distributes the product to various shops from where the customers can easily get the product. Supply chain management basically merges the supply and demand management. It uses different strategies and approaches to view the entire chain and work efficiently at each and every step involved in the chain. Every unit that participates in the process must have an aim to minimize the cost and help the companies to improve their long term performance while or creating value for its stakeholders and customers. This, this process uh, can also minimize the rate by eradicating the unnecessary, uh, unnecessary expenses, movements and uh, handling of products. So a supply chain structure usually comprising of customers, retailers, wholesalers or distributors, manufacturers and then component or raw material suppliers. So let us understand the advantages of uh, supply chain management. It develops better customer relationship and service. It creates better delivery mechanism for products and services in demand with uh, minimum delay. It improves productivity and uh, business functions, minimizes warehouse and uh, transportation costs, assists in achieving shipping of right products to the right place at right time. It enhances the inventory management, supporting the successful execution of uh, just-in-time stock models. It assists in assists companies in adopting to the challenges of uh, globalization, economic upheaval, expanding consumer expectations, and uh, related differences. It assists companies in minimizing waste 
driving out costs and achieving efficiencies throughout the supply chain process. Then what are the supply chain management goals? Supply chain partners work collaboratively at a different levels to maximize resource productivity, construct standardized processes, remove duplicate efforts and minimize inventory levels. Every, every firm strives to match supply with the demand in a timely fashion with the most efficient use of resources. <coughs> So, minimization of supply chain expenses is very, very essential, especially when there are economic uncertainties in companies regarding their wish to conserve capital. Cost efficient and cheap products are necessary, but supply chain managers need to concentrate on value creation for their customers. Exceeding the customer's expectations on a regular basis is the best way to satisfy the customers. Increased expectations of clients for higher product variety, customized goods, off-season availability of inventory and uh, rapid fulfillment at a cost comparable to in-store offering should be matched. To meet consumer expectation, merchant need to leverage inventory as a standard a shared resource and utilize the distributed order management technology to complete orders from the optimal nodes in the supply chain. So in the next session, let us understand evolution of supply chain management. Thank you.